enough budget clean, and I'm going to show you today what to do with the small plastic hanger. This is a hanger that came from a retail store that I work at. Um, I've been working in retail for about 22 years now. Now I'm a pharmacy technician in training. So being that I'm still on a fixed income, um, I want to show you a money saving idea that I'm going to do with this hanger. I've been independent cleaning now for properties for five years. Um, I've learned how to save money along the way. So here it is, plastic hanger. I'm going to use this today as a scraper for the bathtub. Instead of using an expensive plastic tool I would buy in a hardware department, this comes in handy. Oh, and you can hang it to dry your intimates and your active apparel in your closet to dry. Here we go. Follow me. So, first thing we have to do in a bathroom, clear out all the towels that are hanging in the bathroom and make our area ready to clean. As you can see, this is my son's bathtub. There's a lot of visible soap, liquid soap. Liquid soap is wonderful, but it creates a slippery residue and we don't want to get hurt in the shower. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to use this tool. All right. Here's our tool, and what I'm simply gonna do is I'm gonna scrape. You don't even need a glove, it comes right off. It does not scrape the residue. It takes everything right off. Now, to do small corners, you use the shorter end. That's to get in, get in between the grout, for example. And it just, the dry flakes come right off. Now to do wide area, such as this over here, take the long end and you scrape it down. This is a time saver, guys. If you use it here on the walls, And it does a beautiful job. You got grout. This is not going to scrape the grout and destroy the grout like a metal scraper would do. This is a short video to keep your attention. Nobody likes to watch a long video. Go up the wall, you see how quickly, how quickly and effectively I cleaned that residue off. It's gonna spray right off with the shower hose in one moment. Look at that, how quickly this comes off. And you know what? I am done with this wall right here. Just cleaned up all the soap. That wall is done. How about that? That was fast, wasn't it, guys? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you down here have hard water deposits you see you can see some hard water deposit this scraper is also going to do that this scraper is also going to take all that off so here i am there's no dust simple project to do Wow, that so fast comes off like that. All right. Now one thing I want to 
add is when you're using a plastic scraper, scraper like this, you want to be sure it's not cracked. It has to be in good condition. If you have delicate hands, you can wear like your favorite rubber gloves. These days we have COVID-19 going on, so everyone's wearing the, um, the sterile gloves, the nitrile gloves, you can wear those too. If you want to protect your fingernails, I keep mine short. I work as a pharmacy technician trainee, so um, having sanitary fingernails, I keep them on a short side instead of long. The nice thing about this is you're not working with any abrasive chemicals. And when you have asthma like me, you don't want to be breathing in that crap. So I'm almost done. I'm going to pull up that mat. These mats, these you have to take out of the tub first. Ick, look at that. I'm going to take care of that. I have other cleaning YouTube videos. Please watch them. I like to share all these secrets with you. When you're a single head of household like me, you want to save money all the ways that you can. My parents did it when I was little. They bought generic most of the time, saved a lot of money. And now, here I am in my 40s, and I'm feeling a financial crunch, and this is a tough economy right now. Many people are unemployed. And um, we are done. Now, for this, this here is taken care of. All of it's done, you guys. Look at that. And guess what? This cleans up really easily. All you have to do, watch. Uh, I'm gonna drop this. Take your finger. You have one little tool you have to wash. No sponges you have to wring out. None of that. It's a simple. It's a piece of cake. Look, you're done. Wonderful cleaning hack. For more hacks, go ahead and um, let me know your feedback on this cleaning project, what you thought. Thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn anything about pharmacy technician, um, compounding pharmacy technician, um, safety guidelines, check me out. I am also on YouTube with my, labs, with my laboratory series of pharmacy technician. Thank you for watching today. Um, hope you learned something. Bye.